Show you guys first I'm going to make see if I can get it propped up higher. Yeah. So that, I don't know how they can. Can I get anybody in here? Make it be so. No, I'm fine. It's going to take a while to resume oh, yeah. windows here. Here, hot. we got to pack this place in. I'll create a new, new page. You can, get, you can get those from the front desk. Good, because <laughs> I'll play you a YouTube. Um, can I get you anything? Okay. We all doing that? Yeah. Who's in here? Denise. Denise. What? Denise. Denise is still there. Yeah, the Dave and Buster is over by where we live in Schaumburg. Oops, I forgot to do this. this object selector. Set that. Roller, panel roller, split panel roller. Oh man, that's crazy. I know, it's... Do the thing where you cut it up in the panels. Oh yeah, sure. Let me uh, in, uh, edit and so do that. Oh, it gets better. Wait, wait, let's see. Some, all right, I'll show you a couple things. Like here's here's one where you can do this. Like Neil Adams, eat your heart out. And there's there's a panel right there. Oh, and here's another thing. If you, what you can do is you can take select. You can select two four sided panels. And let me see if I, know, it'll let me get away with this, and you can merge them together. Sketches, you'll have a little stamp that says see that? Right yeah. Right so you can focus, <laughs> and this thing, like, it'll let you get away with anything. It'll let you do whatever you want. Well, it makes you not want to now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like, get rid of this one because uh, there's another way to create panels. Ruler. Now there's two kinds of rulers: ruler layer and panel ruler layer. Let's see. Here's a rectangle, so I'm just gonna like, whoops. I don't know what it'll do here. Oh, maybe it'll do something. I know, that's the thing. Let's we'll see what happens when I create panels on the Actually, there's two either. thoughts. First, first, let's try rasterize where right, it handles right, creating the panel layer. And let's see what that created. That cre it created that. And if I turn on transparency, that's what it looks like underneath. But let's try this. Let's delete this. Oh, wait, wait. No, sorry. Let's delete this. Delete layer. Yeah. I have this panel ruler layer. Character. Go back to this. This is the drawing layer. Now let's see, I've got snap turned on. Snap to rulers. I wonder if I've got... So let's see what happens. I'll bet you I'm going to take a brush, a big old thick brush. And if I draw anywhere near this line, notice how I'm, like, I'm trying to deviate, but it locks to that line. So you can use a brush to ink the panel. How would you feel ripped off? They took it in the line. Change the thickness of the line. I think you can because it says vector drawing tools built in. It's sort of a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator, but it's totally devoted to comics creation. And in Japan, they call it Comic Studio because it's devoted to comics creation. And when they brought it over here, someone decided to call it Manga Studio. Yes, and they're still using it. Even though I'm not going to even like draw on the Can you show us a thing you, you drew now? So this is the story Wait, layout. Draw that right on here? Yes. Nice. <laughs> like Thank you. Um, now this is the thumbnail of your story. You can minimize it. So that's the minimum it goes. So you can have a whole, and it's only eight pages, so it's only eight thumbnails, but it goes up to 128 pages. So, and you can call it a chapter. Because 128 pages, that kind of falls short of, say, blankets. But if you did it in chapters, then you could have like 128 thumbnails here. So you can size up the thumbnails 
past a certain point, it's not worth sizing up. Look how thick it is. So that's like the maximum size you can do. But it's still, it's still pretty cool. So to select a page, now what this a story file does is it's a bunch of thumbnails of page files. So to open up a page file, you double click on the thumbnail. <laughs> And here's a, uh, and I, I was drawing at different zoom levels, and here's the layers I used to, to create this. So the logo layer is on top of everything. That's the panel layer. It knows how, like I drew outside the panel, but the panel layer masked it out for me. Because the panel layer goes on top of that, like a window, like a frame laid down on top of everything. So that's the panel layer. Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's unclick some of these guys. I'd rather do it in Photoshop, you're doing it in InDesign. <laughs> this was my original sketch. Put it in a book. It's got pencil tools, and it, here's the beautiful thing about it. it this sketch layer... Can you draw something on top of there? Right here, right yeah, now? Yeah, it's like not safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, let's uh, go up here. Actually, let's uh, race that a little. Yeah. <laughs> so you drew this pencil sketch right on right on your tablet rather than scanning it in, right? Oh yeah. There's two ways to get this kind of feeling. One way is a tablet PC, although with Manga Studio you have to get a tablet PC that has a Wacom uh, digitizer, not a fine point digitizer. Fine point has not released a translator. Um, with tablet PCs, native tablet PCs, tablet PC applications can read the pressure sensitivity, but non-native tablet PC applications need a translator to understand this device. Wacom came out with a translator.